Hey Vinyl Community, this is Greg from Three Dimensions of Music. I'm putting up another video. I wanted to show you some of the uh, new finds that I got at the flea market. A couple of, uh, uh, not car boots, but uh, when you go around a neighborhood and people put stuff out in their driveway. So it's kind of like a, uh, a driveway boot sale, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, some of them were uh, albums I was looking for from my collection, I found a Grail, and I also uh, found some stuff from my collection, and a lot of doubles too. Uh, some doubles I could show you. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you is a. I got a couple albums here from this one fellow just last weekend, and he actually gave me three for a dollar, if you can believe it. And uh, let me get these three. For a dollar that I got from him. Actually, yeah, I believe the writ was from somebody else. It's starting to get, but this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. Um, Chicago Transit Authority. I have to admit, I don't have any Chicago because I know what they sound like. And uh, I, I do like horn sections and stuff, but. Uh, I think I'm, uh, what am I saying, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, I, I, love, I love their music with their with the horns and everything, but I never really got into Chicago. But I saw this, and this is their first one, and I heard from a lot of people in the vinyl community that uh, this was a pretty good album. Uh, not so much uh, what you're used to hearing with Chicago. So I'm trying it out. It actually was in really good shape. The vinyl's like V++. I cleaned it up, and there's very little... I don't think it saw much use, so I picked it up. It was three for a buck, right? Um, and then the other one was, uh, this was a double in my collection, Jean-Luc Pony. A lot of people familiar with this fellow. He's Jazz Fusion. Uh, I have most of his uh, records. I, I really enjoy Jean-Luc Pony. I got introduced to him when I was listening to some Frank Zappa, and he played on some of his albums. And uh, Jean-Luc Pony uh, goes out to a lot of... Uh, different uh, bands and participates in the bands and he's not you don't even sure he's there but his violin is just exquisite uh, this is Myst mystical adventures now uh, there's a fellow out there that watches me and comments a lot and I really appreciate it the zonk man and so shout out to the zonk man I was looking through your discogs and my god I can't do any search on it you got over 4,000 albums I started to just pass out looking at all these covers of uh, 40, even the 40, even the 45s, just the labels. I mean, you got to zip through them. So, uh, it, I'm going to show you some of the the. Uh, this is particularly a use off man because I uh, wanted to put a package together for you. I don't know if you have this particular Jean Luc Ponty. I think you'd enjoy it. You can let me know. And then there was a couple others I'll I'll clue you in on. Uh, the next one, I guess I should. This would be right after that. Uh, this is actually two for three for a dollar. Al Jarreau. Uh, Great jazz singer, scat singer, uh, great band, and this is actually a two album set. Uh, a lot of great songs on here. Uh, Look to the Rainbow, recorded in Europe. I have it already. I actually bought it when I was uh, younger, much younger. But uh, these are actually in pretty good condition. And wherever these guys got, this guy at the flea market got these records, they must have been from somebody's collection because they were kind of like how they grouped together and they're in really good shape. The, the covers are about as worn as mine are, really. But the records are in really good shape. I re sleeve them, I clean them, and uh, uh, I put the, the polyline sleeves, the black ones you get with the box sets and stuff, because I put everything in the, uh, in the uh, rice paper sleeves, and I save these for, for if I'm going to ship the albums out or sell the albums. But again, Zunk, man, if you're interested in El Jero, if you I'm not sure if you have it. Like I said, I didn't go through your whole collection, so if you're interested, let me know. I think you'd like Al Jarreau. I know your wife would for sure, because uh, my wife loves Al Jarreau. Um, next one, here's another one. It was also a double. Best of Billy, Do Billy Dobham. Best of Billy Cobham. Cobham. Okay, now it's got Stratus on here on side two. One of the most, one of the most favorite songs of mine is Stratus. Uh, Tommy Bowen on guitar. Uh, and I think this probably has Tommy Bowen. It's nine minutes and 50 seconds of just pure joy of jazz fusion. Uh, everybody's familiar with Bill, Billy Cobham. If you're not, 
uh, you ought to get familiar with them. This is also in a poly line. Again, this was a double in my collection. I have a lot of Billy Cobham. So, uh, Zonk Man, if you're interested, let me know. Uh, best of Billy Cobb in really good condition. She sold it for a buck. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it behind. It's just an excellent album. If you have it, then I'll, I'll save it for someone else. Okay, let's get to my collection. I, I'm going to add to my Lee Rittenauer. This is Lee Rittenauer Ritt. Quite a bit of Lee Rittenauer. Uh, some of the luminaries with him on this is uh, Greg Falanges, uh, Richard T. Uh, let's see here. Some of them here probably doesn't add up to much more. Uh, Don Grusin, R.B. Mason, a lot of great names. Uh, Alex Acuna, uh, Polino da Costa, just a lot of people that join Lee Rick. This is like soft jazz, but kind of like a little more quick, quicker jazz. I, I love Lee Rittenauer. He's he's a very good guitarist, very good guitarist. So that's the one from my collection, Lee Rick. Written hour. Um, next ones were pretty good finds for me because uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, Manfred, Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Uh, these were wants for me because I have a couple of his albums, this group. They're from England. A uh, great group. Uh, I've been getting into a lot of their music as, as I find them, whether it's on CD or album. But these were in pretty good shape. And it was like uh, three for eight bucks. Three for eight bucks, yeah. So it was a great deal. Angel Station. Uh, Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Okay. Next one is uh, Manfred Mann's Earth Band Watch. So those are the two albums that he had. And there's the label. And then there's actually the inner sleeve, which I save, obviously. And then uh, Manfred Mann's Earth Band. This is a great group. Love them. Uh, my wants that I've been looking for for a long time, even in the record store, I was looking for one of these that uh, were in good shape, especially the outer and the inner. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with uh, this, brain solid surgery. Uh, what a name, huh? Emerson Lake Palmer. I had this. I got rid of it when I was transferring from one station to the next. I had to get rid of about 100 albums, and I, was, I regretted every minute of it because... I got rid of some Emerson, like a Palmer, Led Zeppelin. God knows what I had in my collection at the time. But Rolling Stones, I got rid of all the stuff that I had that I started with because I had to move to England. And then I got to England and I started to get into jazz and everything. I never found them back. But after all this time, you're never too old. Uh, brain cell surgery. And it actually, fortunately, had the uh, inner, which is uh, like a poster. So that was pretty cool. Usually this is missing in the record stores. I never could find it. Uh, so that's cool. I, I, really enjoy, I really enjoy getting it. And the album was V++. It's very clean. Very clean. Uh, I'll tell you what. Real quick, I'll go over these. Because I've been holding on to these for a while. I found these jazz collections. These are jazz. Uh, Earl Hines, he's a Pittsburgh uh, pianist. He started out in Pittsburgh. But these sets, there was a box in Goodwill. It probably had to be about, I think, 19 of these box sets of these records. There's three albums per box set. I picked out a three, of them, three of them that I was familiar with because a lot of them were, you're going back to the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. But I did pick out uh, Father Earl Hines because uh, he is from Pittsburgh, and I don't really have any Earl Hines. And it's a really nice set. I don't know who bought these and gave them up. Probably somebody... Uh, much older, bought these, all these box sets, they're Columbia, I think, they're like a, you know, like a membership, I guess you get all these albums, beautiful shape, hardly, probably hardly ever played, uh, this is Earl Hines, it's got all this documentation, a nice booklet that came with each one, a uh, story about growing up in Pittsburgh, and all the different musicians that he played with, Duke Ellington, you name it, all these guys back, back in the day, okay, so that's Earl Hines, and then the albums obviously are uh, like this, jazz. I believe they're Columbia. I should have looked, but it's no matter. Time Life, I think that's a Columbia uh, pressing, but they're very clean. They sound as they would be in, the, in that period. They're not remastered, uh, and also they put them out in, you know, for these kind of sets. But they do sound clean and nice because whoever owned these 
were the only ones that ever touched them. So that was kind of nice. So I got that, Earl Hines. The other one I picked up, uh, Billy Holiday. Don't have any Billy Holiday, so uh, it'd be nice to try out her. Same thing. Um, kind of reminds me of the one steps everybody's buying now because they kind of come out like this. And Billy Holiday, same thing, three albums. Uh, Columbia Jazz, or what was that? The last. There's Billy Holiday. It's embossed. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of embossed on the top. But they're very nice sets. I couldn't pass them up for 79 cents a piece uh, because that's, they consider them a record. Uh, they didn't look inside and they just consider them a record. So 79 cents a piece. And lastly, oh, this had some nice prints in it too. Let's see. Here's a nice frameable of Billy Holiday. If I am so inclined. The uh, last one I got was, of course, Duke Ellington. I won't even open that up. Everybody knows who Duke Ellington is. There's the other two, I guess, too, if you're familiar with jazz. Anyways, I got those three. I left a lot behind. Jelly Roll, somebody. There was a lot of different ones that I left behind, but I just don't have the room for all these box sets. Because I have a lot of box sets, but I'm making room for these. Uh, the uh, beverage of choice tonight, everyone, everyone is Parat. Belgian, uh, nice Belgian ale. I salute you. Okay, I'm going to go over our CDs real quick. I'll try to keep this short, but I did. I was holding back on you guys for a while. I have other records to show, but they can wait for another day. Okay, Junior Wells. Uh, don't have this one. It is Come On In This House. A lot of slide guitars join Junior Wells with his harmonica. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to get to it. As you can see, i got a lot to listen to. Let's see. Next one coming up, I had listened to Can't Eat, Greatest Hits. I just can't pass up Can't Eat for a buck. Most of these CDs are a buck or two bucks. So I'm still a madman going on CDs. Two that I didn't have on vinyl, but I do have other ZZ Top, is uh, De Guayo and Tres Hombres. Both CDs. Uh, one of them's in half ass shape. Looks like I went through a, a, a carpet ride. And the other one's pretty good shape. Tres Hombres. And the one guy gave it to me. He said, that CD looks so bad. I didn't, we didn't think they was going to play. It played on my player and it sounded okay. So I got that for free. But I ended up paying him an extra buck for a CD that's in here that, that I would have loved to have. I'd love to have anyway. Uh, I came across this one vendor at the flea market. They had a, a stack of CDs. Uh, and there was a bunch of CDs in a, a box and all this stuff. But this stack of CDs must have been from somebody's collection because all of these were just hit after hit for me. Um, I do have these in vinyl, but not in very good shape. So when I can see a CD, I can pick it up. Savoy Brown looking in. A lot of people are familiar with these guys. Blues Rock. And Savoy Brown Hellbound Train. I have both of these on vinyl, but the vinyl's not in great shape, so I'm always looking. But these are on Durham, Duran. So uh, they sound great. Wonderful uh, for a buck or two, right? Uh, new one to my collection, Blackstone Cherry. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with these guys. A uh, little country rock, heavy duty. Uh, I'm going to check this out. So, Blackstone Cherry. Uh, I think this is like an original. This is, might be their first one because it looks like it's named Blackstone Cherry. I haven't listened to that yet. A lot of these I have. Cinderella is one I got. First Cinderella in my collection. I just kind of shied away from the band because of the name. I know that's kind of crappy to think that way, but uh, something about Cinderella, you know, it's like I just couldn't grasp, but then they said, for I'm going to try it out for a buck, and wow, these guys are great. So I do love Cinderella. I'm not crazy about their name, but I do love their tunes. Extended version, Cinderella, uh, mostly live stuff, and it's just a cook. I just love it. All right. Okay, here's a find for me that I would love to share with you guys and gals. Um... I've never heard of this group before, and I put it in my CD player, and I said, holy cow, who the heck is this? Now, probably some of you have heard them, maybe not. These guys are from England. They go back into the 60s and 70s. Chicken Shack, and the guy's name is Stan Webb, and he is amazing on the guitar, and actually the whole group is great. Um, this is a two-CD set made in Castle. I think this is an import. I'm not sure, but it's a two-CD set, great shape. 
again, this was in the stack with the uh, the uh, Cinderella, the Black uh, the Savoy Brown. I mean, I didn't even know who this Chicken Shack was, and they're my new favorite CD right here, Chicken Shack. It's great rock and CD. Sounds great. Whenever they taped it, they just did the right. It's just like a remastered almost. Great sounding CD there. Uh, next one, Blackfoot. Everybody's familiar with Blackfoot. First one in my collection. I think I picked a good one. I haven't listened to it yet, but uh, this got high ratings for sure. Blackfoot. It's catching up on a lot of stuff. Now, I watch Glenn, Glenn Kellaway from the basement. I watch his channel. Big shout out to Glenn. Uh, he was getting into David Bowie. He bought all of David Bowie stuff. And I, I kind of know why. Uh, I picked this up. This is, uh, I have some live David Bowie on vinyl and stuff like that. And another David Bowie CD somewhere in my collection. But this was a Ziggy. Everybody's familiar with the Ziggy Stardust. Uh, oh, man. I can't remember what it all says. Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy Stardust, anyways. Um, great CD. A lot of songs. And there's uh, bonus, bonus tracks on here. Uh, just a great Simon CD. So, David Bowie, thank you, Glenn, for picking my interest, interest on that film. He's fun. Uh, Nirvana, this was a fill, a hold of fill, because I have a lot of Nirvana on CD. Incesticide. Incesticide, yeah. Um, very good CD, very good music. I love this particular CD of Nirvana. They're hit and miss with me sometimes. Uh, I still keep everything, but uh, sometimes, you know. Uh, but this one here was a good one for me. Uh, this one was a first for me. Uh, Lindsey Buckingham. This one is Can't... No, Out of the Cradle. Lindsey Buckingham. Pretty good. Uh, kind of poppy. I'm not a big poppy guy. Uh, I'm a pap-pap, not a poppy. Anyways, uh, but I like it. It reminiscent of uh, uh, Fleetwood Mac, the, 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 the tunes. Here's a nice pickup. Alvin Lee, In Flight. I have this on vinyl. Sounds great, but I said, hey, if I can pop in a CD and not worry about turning it over, I'm down. So I bought it for, for what's it, two bucks. So two CDs, Alvin Lee. Some of the songs on here, not as cooking as some of his can be. This is, I think this is kind of like, in, uh, this wasn't with uh, 10 Years After. Very similar, but he's kind of like on a, doing a lot of solo work with this. But a good one nonetheless. Uh, next one. I've been getting into these guys a lot. I, was, I told Stoner he bought a Jane's Addiction. I said, eh, I've been getting into that too. So I, this is the second one I got. This one is R Ritual de lo Habitual. Very good CD. A lot of great songs on this one. Again, Jane's Addiction. Getting into that. Uh, next one. This is in excess. I kind of like this group. Even though I'm not a big poppy guy, this is a little bit on the edge of pop. I guess, but they, they definitely can rock the speakers. Uh, this one is a live set. A lot of great songs. So I don't have any live in excess. I don't think they were all studio. So I picked that one up. And next. Just a couple of greatest hits for Quicksilver Messenger Service and Can't Heat. Got it for a buck. Can't turn it down. Uh, great shape CD. Uh, Quicksilver, let's see, Dino's song, Pride of Man. Who Do You Love, Part 1, Fresh Air, What About Me, great songs. Uh, Candy, Fried Hawk, what's that, Fried Hooky Boogie? <laughs> These guys are something else. They have great tunes, Candy. Anyways, next. New for me, The Cult. We're going to see how that sounds. That'll be kind of a new experience for me. I picked up The Cult. Uh, Blood Flowers, I think it's their 11th album, so they, they were a busy man too. So a lot to look for if they like that. If anybody knows what some good cult is and want to let me know, that'd be great. Uh, this one I'm not sure about. Uh, the guy told me it was pretty good. 30 Seconds to Mars. So I'm going to check that out. I haven't listened to it yet. I apologize, but my goodness. I'm retired, but I still don't have enough time. Here's another one uh, people are familiar with, New Riders of Purple Sage. Uh, greatest hits, kind of like I don't have any New Riders of Purple Sage. Believe it or not, Vinyl War CD. So that was an entrance for me. A buck. I'm going to take it. Next one's Don't Have Any Sonic Youth. Uh, this one is rather ripped, so this will be a new experience for me. Anybody's got some input on Sonic Youth? Taking a lot of chances. Uh, let's see, this one here was really cool. It's still wrapped, it's still sealed. A Jazz and Blues Christmas. Uh, really nice songs on it. B.B. King, uh, let's see, Ray Charles, Rams Lewis Trio. 
the Duke's Addiction, the Duke's of Dixieland featuring Luther Kent, uh, Mighty Blue Kings. Like it's, it looks like it's going to be great. I have a few Christmas CDs, and that's a shout out to the uh, uh, the goat. Uh, he loves C uh, Christmas albums and CDs, and uh, I kind of like a few Christmas myself. Not as much as he does, the goat, but uh, hey, every tweet is up. Anyways, uh, this was really cool. I got this for a buck. Original master recording. Now, everybody, don't be getting in the tight. Don't get your panties in the tight here. Uh, this is a master recording, so I'm sure it's uh, digital, right? Because it's a CD, so no, no worries. Sounds great. It's in great shape. I got it for a buck. It's my first CD that's an original master recording. So I know a lot of guys have a ton of them. I only got one of them. But that was pretty cool because I have that on vinyl. I love Rick, Rick Wakeman. This was Journey to the Center of the Earth. Uh, great. I listened to it. It sounds beautiful. I zoned out on that. Hey, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you watch it to the end. I, I did a few shout outs there. Where I, 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 I checked out with the new channels, a couple of them, and uh, I'm enjoying them. Uh, a to Z uh, music and uh, a few others. Uh, I'm, dropping their, I'm dropping their names, but it's not important right now. But thank you for watching me and uh, giving me encouragement. I appreciate it.